Good morning, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but welcome to NaNoWriMo! So I got my coffee, and before I do anything else in the day, I actually like to start my day doing a little bit of writing, just try to get something productive done as like the first thing in the day to sort of set a productive mood for the day. So let's start. Alrighty, so I got my first writing of the day done with. I also did one or two other things this morning, but right now my stomach is growling so hard, so I think I'm gonna go downstairs, have some breakfast, and get ready for the day. Alrighty, I got ready for the day. I took my morning walk, put on my clothes, and put on my makeup. So let's keep writing. Currently, I'm going to put some shelving under my sink. Ta-da! Alrighty, so it is already 6 p.m. And for those of you who watched my previous Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs, this is usually where I end filming for the day because it's getting dark. Obviously, because we're in November and not July or May. Um, it is already dark, <laughs> especially because Daylight Savings was yesterday. I didn't know my mom was going to ask me to help her assemble those shelves today, and that ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So I didn't get that much writing done this afternoon, and my word count for day one of NaNoWriMo is 511 words. To some extent, I kind of expected this a little bit. Um, usually when I start a story, I'm a little slow on the uptake. At least that like first chapter is always a little bit rough for me because I'm really trying to find the tone of the story, find like what exactly does this feel like, what does this sound like. Especially when I step into a new book or world or story for the first time, it's always a little bit difficult for me to kind of feel out what this is going to be and what this should look and feel and sound and <laughs> smell and taste like. You know, as kind of tough as it was to try to get that first page in and really kind of put words, it's, it's, on, it's on a computer so it's not really put pen to paper, it's Put fingers to keyboard, I guess. As difficult as it was, and as much of a kind of a rough start this first day was, I'm really happy. Like, I'm really excited f about the story. I'm really excited to finally start everything after a whole month of planning and plotting. I actually get to write the damn thing. But all in all, pretty decent start to NaNoWriMo. Hope your writing is going well, and I will see you tomorrow. Well, hello! So if you're wondering what I did last night, I did not get any writing done last night. Uh, a few of my close friends and I watched Hocus Pocus, which I had never seen before. And I know Halloween was two days ago, but my friend had work on Halloween, so we moved a kind of like movie Zoom date to yesterday. We stayed up pretty late watching the movie, so because I went to sleep pretty late, I woke up pretty late, it's almost lunchtime, um, so it's a bit of a late start today, but nevertheless, let's get the day started. Okay, so I am actually losing daylight really quickly, so I figured I'd get this in right now. Today really hasn't been that much of a writing day for me. Um, I did some stuff related to my YouTube channel, and then also, um, I believe I've mentioned it only once or twice on my, in my YouTube videos, but um, I do also have an internship, so I do need to be putting at least some of my attention towards that. It is about 4.30 right now, and as of right now, I have 747 words in my NaNoWriMo story. 
Obviously, I woke up a little later today, and on top of that, it's a really warm day. It's like 75 degrees. Obviously, I'm in California this year for NaNoWriMo and not New York, so it's not a typical winter the way it was for last year's NaNoWriMo for me. The second day of NaNoWriMo for me also brought back some memories, because if you watched my July Camp NaNoWriMo series, you'll know the second day of Camp NaNoWriMo in July was the day that I found out that the Disney College program had been canceled indefinitely. Obviously that was a really hard day for me, and I ended up not filming that day. I think I still ended up writing that day, though. But anyways, that was my day two, and I hope your writing has been going well, and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning! So, in a rare turn of events, I actually did get some writing done last night. I'm now up to 1,338 words. As many of you know, here in America, today is Election Day. I am very nervous, and obviously my family and I will be watching the results tonight, but I've told myself, until then, no more politics, no more <laughs> watching TV or looking at news. I submitted my ballot by mail about a week and a half ago, so I'm going to go online and check to see where my ballot is in terms of like the mailing process because you can track it. And then um, today, I am actually going to be going out. I'm, me and my mom are taking my grandma on a walk. So for those of you who watched my July Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs, You'll know towards the end of the month, my grandfather got sick. I actually skipped filming that day. I think, I believe I did mention it though. Um, he ended up passing away in mid-September. Um, if you look at my channel, there's like a two-week gap in which I didn't post anything, and that's why. So I'm gonna take my grandma for a walk, get her outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise, spend some time with grandma. I'm not going to be putting on makeup because um, I don't like getting makeup on my masks. And supposedly I read somewhere that makeup, especially foundation, can actually deteriorate the quality of a mask. So better safe than sorry, not going to put on makeup right away. And let's go. I spent almost the whole morning with my grandma, so I decided for this afternoon to take the afternoon off. 
Um, I had a good time with my grandma. We took her to the Conservatory of Flowers because she's actually never been. It's kind of a greenhouse arboretum in San Francisco. And um, then we took her grocery shopping, which was nice. But unfortunately, by the time we got back, I was pretty tired. So like I said, decided to take the afternoon off. But luckily, I got a teeny, teeny bit of writing done before I left to go see my grandma. So uh, my word count right now is at 1,378 words. Now it is only about 4.30, so I still have some time in the day to get some writing done. Like I said, I somehow got writing done last night, even though I'm not really a nighttime writing person. But I know for at least some part of the night, my family wants to watch the election coverage together. Um, I'm not sure when we're gonna start though. It's a little weird on the West Coast because when I watch the 2016 election on the East Coast, um, it usually starts later at night and then ends later at night, where it's here on the West Coast because we're three hours behind the East Coast. It starts earlier in the night and then also ends earlier in the night. Like when I watched the 2008 election when I was a really little kid, uh, it was pretty much over by 9 p.m., which is how I got to watch the whole thing as like an eight-year-old. For the 2016 election, I remember wanting to stay up for the whole thing, but I also had class the next morning, so I finally like gave up around like 11, 11.30, and then I saw the result on my phone just as I was going to bed. So usually this is where I end filming. I might end up filming some of my family's reaction to the election. I don't know, I'm not sure how comfortable they are with being filmed, depending on how tonight's gonna go. But we'll see, if not, not. next day. Um, I ended up going to sleep pretty late. I ended up watching like election coverage with my sister till about midnight. Um, we actually, we took some of the cookies that I made in my self-care video and we made them into ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> that was pretty fun. The final results for the election did not come in last night. They actually still aren't in as I'm recording the morning after, but I knew I had to get up to record and write so I didn't end up staying up all night watching the election coverage. But regardless of what happens on that end, let's get writing. Alrighty, so it is a little later in the day. I got some writing done. I actually attended a live stream, which I've been really bad about doing lately. I don't know what it is with live streams. It's like. I gotta be in a mood for them, at least currently. I used to be really into live streams, especially back in July during the last Camp NaNoWriMo, but currently I haven't been feeling live streams as much. So I did attend a live stream. I attended Maika Vidal's live stream. She's doing a, a NaNoWriMo live stream, I believe, every single day, which is amazing and great for me, who, <laughs> if I ever need a live stream, 
to get some words in. I did get some words in. Micah Vidal is part of CreatorTube, so she doesn't exclusively do writing content. She also writes her own music and does content surrounding music. Um, for her stream, she was screen sharing the poetry she was writing for that stream. And I'm not sure if she wants that like raw written poetry kind of out in my video. So I um, just kind of made sure the camera focused on just her face and not on what she had written down on the screen in the stream. But if you are interested in her channel, I will leave a link in the description below. I'm finally past that slump I was having for the first two days of NaNo. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself for the first scene of any story, just because first scene, it's really when you have to grab a reader's attention, and also there's so many cliches associated with a first scene, I feel. So it's, it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of like nervous energy about, is this scene good? Is this first scene gonna grab people's attention in the way I need it to? So I've been expecting a thing or two in the mail for a while. If you watched my July Camp NaNoWriMo vlogs, you'll know that in July I was supposed to get my robes, and then this past September I was supposed to get my diploma. Well, neither of those things have shown up, but there is something I've been waiting for in the mail that I didn't mention in any of my videos, and that is my friend wrote a book! So this is Fashion on the Beat by Julia Baldini, and she, um, we lived across from each other uh, in the dormitories freshman year, and then she was roommates with one of my really close friends for the next three years, like after freshman year, and she wrote a book, and I am really excited. I finally got my copy today. If I open her up here, she even signed my copy. Um, Dear Kim, thank you so much for your support. Julia, the curly flower, that's her Instagram handle. So yeah, this literally could not have come at a better time as I'm like super anxious waiting for the election results to come in. This was a nice little reprieve of something I've been waiting for for quite some time. So I just thought I'd share that little happy moment with you. Okay, so time really got away from me. I was actually in the middle of trying to edit together the first vlog of NaNoWriMo, the first three days maybe I'll include today, I'm not quite sure yet. So I know I'm in the ugly lighting, so I'll get this done as quickly as possible. Um, my current word count is 1793 words. Since I'm actually not using the official NaNoWriMo website this time to keep track of my words, I'm actually not sure how many words I would need to complete each day to get to 10,000. I just know from like my own personal emotional standpoint that has like nothing to do with my actual word count or like how numbers wise, like how close I am to my actual goal, like I'm actually feeling really good about my progress. Hope you're feeling as good as I'm currently I'm feeling or maybe hopefully better than I am about your writing progress and I will see you tomorrow.